Hey guys, Box Truck Henry here. I got some, some brand new cable from Home Depot. This is the 1 8 thick cable. So I'm going to add a few more feet or replace the existing cable and add some longer cable. Hopefully I can reach all the way down to the bottom bracket where I welded on the, the brackets uh, last time out we were out here. I didn't really get a close up of this last time. So here it is. This little bracket here was on the roll-up door and this is where the cable was originally attached. Um, so what I did is I just pretty much um, welded a angle bar, just a little piece of angle bar right here. I believe it was three feet and a half from the hinge. And so, you know, you put your cable here and you just put your pin in. It's got one of those, um, you know, little cutter pins that go in, in here. That's it, you know, I, I got a few weld tacks. It's not welded all the way. So, I, you know, of course, I just want to make sure that it, it works properly. I got it on this side as well. So I got this this light here. I don't know if it's bright enough. I've noticed I haven't been getting a good shot of this. It's kind of it kind of uh, hides away in the shadow. It's really bright right here. I can see it. Uh, you know, as bright as daylight right now. But you know, I, I, I haven't been able to catch a good image on video. So hopefully, you guys can kind of see it. You know, the whole the whole process there. But at least you get an idea of what's going on. I don't know if you guys can see that now I gotta release bolts there. These bolts are what's holding it in place from keeping it from unwinding. Loosen those up. I actually thought this tension was going to be a, ho a lot, a lot harder, but I guess not. So here's the old cable. I'm gonna reuse that loop, but I got new crimps for this one and for this one. So I will be reusing this little hoop right there. Now I gotta go find it. Found it. So I bought two of these uh, sets here. What are these called? Uh, Ferrule and stop set. Ferruli. Ferruli. Ferrule. You know, the little crimps that go at the end. <clears throat> so that's what these look like. There's a little opening right there and that's where you that's where you put your, your cable through and that's where you'll you crimp your this this little crimper thing. And that one I pretty much just crimp it the same the same way um, on the vice grip. 
crimped it into a little pancake and just cut off the excess there and that's what it looks like <clears throat> and you just wind it just wind it you know just wind it with your hand and try to line it up back in the position it was like so it's about there That's how you put a new cable on, you know, so I wound this up a little bit, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to wind it up a little bit more. Got one down and the other one to go, and nothing to it. Really, I only needed one package, you know, they were like $2, I like to have, buy extra ones in case I goof up, but so far it's been pretty easy, you know, just run it through, loop it around. <coughs> And then I gotta grab my little ring from the other from the other cable, so I'm going to have to wind it again as soon as I close this door. So no need to tighten it too tight. <laughs> So as soon as I close this, I'm gonna lose the tension here. So that's where I'll rewind it, or rewound, wind it, rewind it, rewound it, rewind it. All right, so I just closed the door. So this kind of got loose again. So now I gotta wind them up nice and neat and then and then tighten them in a position. So that's on pretty tight right there. So I just give this coil a few turns to get a nice tension going there. So let's do this other one. And you know, it's really hot in here and that's just from closing it. So, you know, that kind of, tells you that it is a lot better to have a door that can open wide open so that you can get a fresh air you know just working with this door wide open it's just a night and day difference you know even if I had doors and windows it'll still be hot in here So come to think about it, I don't think I want to wind this up too much because by the time it gets all the way to the bottom, it's gonna be really tight. So I'll probably want to do just the same amount. Just do a one turn. Uh, when I removed it, I only turned this bar once and it already the tension was completely released. So that's probably what I wanna do again. Just turn it once, just so that it can keep cable coiled up. In fact, I'll do that to the same on this side.
So a few things that I've noticed. For one, I, I wound it backwards and this way it, it kind of grinds right here. You know, I don't know if you can see that like, it grinds right there. So what I'm going to do is, you know, it's supposed to wind this way. First time I had wound it the other way so that I messed up on that one. What I was thinking of doing, just switching this one to that side and uh, that way I have a little bit of room here. It's supposed to be wound up this direction. So right off the back, it it scrapes on the, on the frame. But even if I wind it this way, halfway up, I think it's going to still hit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the coils around because I had messed up the first time. The first time I had wound it this direction and because of that, it'll just kind of come out this way and that's why they, it kind of fell out. So it was supposed to be wound up this way. So that's where I messed up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip these around, put that one on this side and this one on that side so that I can wind it up this way. Yeah, see this way, this is the wrong way. So that was my mistake, I did it the wrong way. Luckily, this thing can come out. It has some, it has a pin here, has a cutter pin here, and it has these bolts here, it has these bolts here. So I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be able to just slide it out, pull this out, grab these things and just swap it from here to there and there to here, and then it'll wind up the other way. So now if I spin it this way, as I did originally, now this, it'll actually lock in place, rotating this direction. I don't know man, I think that turned out pretty nice. Now, you guys remember that thing was like super heavy. I think it was like 90 or 100 pounds, or, you know, before. Just one hand. Yeah, just one hand. Wow. <laughs> I got a little screw right here that I gotta pull because I don't have a handle yet. But this thing is, look at that. It comes down pretty slow. I mean, I still gotta catch it on the way down. But just with one hand, just, you know, I'll just bring it down. Do that. Let it, just let it drop. That is neat. So, 
And that is pretty cool. Gosh. So, I don't know, man. I mean, I hear the thing creaking and making all kind of sounds, but maybe if I put a little bit, a little bit of grease on the on the springs, on the tensioners, on the cable, you know, just grease it up so it's nice and smooth. You know, it's it's bone dry right now. You know, everything here is, you know, it's got uh, no oil or grease or anything. So as soon as I put some grease, you know, it should be it should be nice and quiet and smooth. But look at this, man! Just one hand. I don't know if you guys can see see me doing this, but just one hand, one finger. Awesome. Hey, you can say you saw it first at Box Truck Henry. <laughs> We're going to call this the Box Truck Henry ramp. I don't know if you know. I mean, the the gates. You know, the 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 gates. They. It's nothing new with the tensioners. It's nothing new. But usually they're not flushed inside the door frame of a high vehicle like this. So you know, it's kind of warm outside. It's not too bad today. It's you know, I'd say it's about it's about 80 degrees out here just a minute ago I was inside and it was like really hot and I had this door open the whole time so just closing that door made it really hot but you know now being able to just kind of open up the whole thing and just use it as a deck that's what I really wanted with this project um, that's what I really wanted you know just having this thing wide open it's just really nice to have that whole thing open just get that breeze it's like a sweat box in there. I, you know, literally, I was to every. I've gone in there twice, and both times I was in there for like 10 minutes, and I was sweating. But you know, just having this open, it's like a night and day difference. Look at that. Comes down pretty slow. You know, it's not. It's not crazy. It's not. It's not super heavy anymore. You know these these little these coils and and these um, cables they really help out a lot and you know this thing is pretty heavy it's it's and it is heavy duty farmer was you know was here earlier he was showing me some aluminum frame and it was this big bulk aluminum frame and he said I can use it if I wanted to and, I, and this thing is like as as big as this but bulkier and I picked that up that thing was so light so if you guys are watching this and if you guys have a little bit of extra money for this door go with aluminum that thing was so light very lightweight and aluminum is kind of sturdy um, and that thing I picked that thing up and it was so light you know compared to you know this these steel frames it's about a hundred pounds you know more or less but that's still pretty heavy, you know. I and mean, the reason he told me about those aluminum framing is because, you know, he saw me climbing up and down and he's like, yeah, you can't use this as a ramp. So he's like, yeah, here, he showed me. It was like a frame. It was already framed out something somewhat like this. Uh, and he's like, yeah, he was giving me some ideas how I can build an extension, a lightweight extension with the aluminum. So I'm actually considering it. He said I can have it. So that's pretty awesome. I'm not sure exactly what direction to take with that right now um you know i just kind of want to finish this up finish the inside do the outside um the outside board and i'm still considering doing this door one of these panels a a door so that i don't have to roll it down every time i really like that one because you have that that long um handle where you can just hold on to it climb up the main purpose of this is to use it as a platform that's my main purpose that i that i really want to do is 
just use this as a platform have this wide open get that 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 um, cool breeze going through here um, but this is the cable so that's actually going to hold the weight of the platform and whatever weight you know if you have that three or four people on this platform this is this cable is rated for um, I believe it was 13 or 1400 pounds um, so one side will be 13 1400 pounds so you know if I do two cables it will be um, I don't know 2400 pounds so I don't know what person will weigh 2400 pounds but I think this cable will be strong enough and came um, uh, with a plastic insulation or a plastic um, sleeve already over it so you know that's just gonna help it that's just gonna protect it a little bit from from the elements um, it's too bad I couldn't do it to this one because this one ha actually has to be bare so that it can roll up in its little coil you know that one has to be bare but you know if I can protect one of them you know it is, it'll be nice to protect the one that's going to hold the weight of actual people standing on this thing so so this is my platform nice open to the air you know I can come out to the platform and chill out here I can feel the breeze out here feel all the air going inside this is actually kind of nice um, one concern that I do see is that it does sit um, up high the height of the, the trucks deck and you know of course as you guys know you know I got little ones and you know my concern is that you know it does sit up high so uh, the next thing down the road will I, what I would have to do is figure out a, a way of an enclosure just maybe just put some uh, you know just put some a pole there a pole there and just you know wrap it with a, either a fabric mesh kind of thing or or um, some kind of rail railing to go around just for me I mean just having it like this is awesome you know just having that whole um, 360 view um, yeah, that's pretty cool so um, I'm gonna figure out a way to uh, incorporate some some just a quick little rail that goes around um, for the little ones you know the, the ramp position it's not that crucial to me but you know just having that option to have the pro um, the, the ramp you know it's it's that's just a bonus um, having this deck was the, the the main focus um, also what i like to do is um, install an awning awning will be next having an, have an awning in fact now that i think about it you know have those poles on the side go up and have an awning kind of connect to those poles and then have that rail go in the bottom as well so you know that's that's another thought you know just brainstorming i got these uh i got a trash can some center blocks holding the deck up for right now i do need to install my my deck cable i thought i had i, I could have sworn about those um those little those little crimps but i can't find them so that's going to be next time so 